Hi cuties, my name is Hanako Kozumi and this is the channel Nerdy Nekoma. Everything here is about Haiku Jet stories and fanfic. Thanks for joining us today. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and leaving a like. And with that, welcome to the third and final part of my 1000 subscribers special, aka the wearing a skirt in front of your boyfriend challenge. And today's ship is Tsukiyama Kagehina. I promise a lot of love, I hope you enjoy this. Let's jump straight into it. Like that, Aikawa-san? Hinata was on a FaceTime call with Aikawa, who helped him with his outfit, since Hinata had never worn a skirt before. He would have given advice to Kenma as well, but the other declined. Yep, looks all good, Chibi-chan. Hinata didn't even notice the annoying nickname and took another look at his reflection. His signature bubbly laughter echoed through the room, and Aikawa had to admit that even though the spiker could be very annoying on the court, it was hard to dislike him. Thank you, Aikawa-san. You like it? Yes, it looks funny. Aikawa laughed at the metal blocker's enthusiasm. Well then, now that you're dressed and ready, it's time to show your boyfriends. Right. He seemed to hesitate for a moment before looking determinedly at the door and waving Aikawa goodbye. Talk to you later. He hung up. Hinata half ran and half jumped down the stairs towards the garden. Tsuki and Yams were still out, so Kageyama would be the first victim of this challenge. They had been training before Aikawa proposed the challenge and Hinata excused himself to change his outfit. Oi, Silvio! Kageyama didn't look at him and just continued to set the ball above his head. What took you so long, Boke? Hey! I just had to change my outfit. Hinata crossed his arms. The raven had stopped setting and frowned confused. Change? What for? He dropped the ball. His cheeks slowly filled with blood, making him blush as a reaction to the sight in front of him. The image of his boyfriend, hot and cute at the same time, rendered him speechless. Tobio, are you okay? Your face is so red. Do you have a fever? Hinata gasped. Oh no, did you get a cold too? After you cared for all three of us and didn't get sick, I thought you were immune or something. Maybe it just took longer. Hinata was rambling and Kageyama had a hard time deciphering the words. Here, we'll get you inside. N no dumbass. But... I'm not sick. Then why is your face so red? The ginger pouted and tried reaching for his hand again. Because you look... good. What? He felt his own cheeks heat up and realization dawned on his face. Oh... Kageyama leaned forward and pressed their lips together. Hinata immediately kissed back and pulled the taller closer by his shirt. He could feel his heartbeat accelerating and electricity running through his veins. A surprised yelp escaped him when Kageyama picked him up and out of reflex he put his legs around Kageyama's waist. You look gorgeous. The raven had whispered the words between kisses. Thank you. Kageyama placed little kisses down Hinata's neck and while holding him up with one arm around his waist, placed his hand on the spiker's thigh. He slowly lifted the skirt a little. His eyes searched for Hinata's, waiting for him to give his consent to continue. But before Hinata could, 
Hey, King, are you willing to share or do you want to keep Shoyo to yourself? Kageyama stopped. He glanced over at Tsukishima and Yamaguchi, who just got back from that trip. Hinata laughed and rested his head on Kageyama's shoulder. He was breathing heavily. You should think about doing that inside before the neighbors notice. Kageyama grinned to himself. It was an unspoken fact that Tsukishima could get really jealous, but he was working on it. Shoyo? Hmm? Let's go inside. Carry me. Hinata looked at him with puppy eyes and Kageyama was incapable of saying no. The four of them got to the living room, Kageyama still carrying Hinata while bickering with Tsukishima, who couldn't help but tease them a little. It wasn't until the setup put Hinata gently on the couch that he noticed that Yamaguchi was suspiciously quiet. What is it, Tadashi? The other blushed and looked down. Dashi? Tsuki squeezed Yamaguchi's hand that he was still holding and gave him a confused look. Hinata got curious as well and sat up to get a better look at his boyfriend. He almost looked like a nosy puppy. The only thing that was missing was a pair of cute bushy ears and a tail. It didn't really improve the situation. I just thought that the skirt looked really good on you. Oh, thanks, Dashi. He jumped up and ran over to Yamaguchi. In a swift motion, he got up on his tiptoes and kissed his cheek. Yamaguchi's blush darkened and he pulled Hinata into a real kiss. So that's what got you all riled up. Tsukishima grinned teasingly at Kageyama. Shut up, as if you don't like it. I never said that. But I'm a bit hurt. Hinata is greeting Yamaguchi and all I get from you is the cold shoulder. Kageyama rolled his eyes and turned around to pull Tsukishima in a deep kiss. The blonde grinned and chuckled when they separated. I said shut up. Make... He was interrupted by Hinata, who laughed loudly about something Yamaguchi whispered in his ear. What? N nothing We just thought you two are cute together. Both of them blushed, especially because Yams and Hinata were the human equivalent of cute. So, why the sudden change of style? He tried to change the topic quickly. Oh, that was a challenge from Aikawa-san. Yeah, and he was right, it was so much fun. He looked at his boyfriends, who seemed almost disappointed. But if you like it, I can wear skirts more often. No. I mean, yes, but it's not about if we like it. He quickly corrected himself upon seeing Hinata's eyes widen. The ginger looked at him confused. Yams is right. You are the one that needs to feel comfortable with what you are wearing, not us. The fact that we like it shouldn't be the only reason why you want to wear skirts, at least not all the time. I mean, if you're comfortable and... Tsuki took Kageyama's hand in his and squeezed it reassuringly. What I want to say is that we'll support you, so wear whatever you like. Does that include your hoodies? Forget what he said. What? He looked at him pleadingly. Why not the hoodies? They are just too much, my heart can't take it. Shoyo, sure, you just look way too cute in those. It'll be our end. Hinata pouted, but he didn't manage to sulk for long. Okay, but I really like the skirt. I mean, it's comfortable, so I might wear it occasionally. He grinned. I can just ask Aikawa to help me with my outfit again. 
again. Yeah, he helped me pick this one. He is so good at this. Tsukishima's and Kageyama's expression darkened a little. The Great King, huh? Guys, calm down. Aiko was great and he has three boyfriends of his own, if you might recall. But... No buts. Get your jealousy under control. I'll keep Hinata for myself for today. You wanna get upstairs, Shoyo? Hinata chuckled a little. Okay. The other two looked at them dumbfounded as they left the room. What did just... I don't know. Hey, wait! They followed their boyfriends quickly. Thanks for watching till the end! I hope you enjoyed this little shorter but final part of my 1k special. I hope you liked the whole series and I wanted to use this um, point to say something really quickly about this because I'm totally on Yam's side. I do not support jealous behavior in any way. Uh, I think it's a problem that can occur in relationships and you need to communicate openly. But this is the reason why you won't see it often portrayed in my videos because I really dislike the idea of jealousy. That being said, it's not really the topic of my channel and have a wonderful day. I hope you like that this was a little bit more fluff. <laughs>